What up everybody? Instruct the beats back again here with our subtracting lesson. Today we're going to be subtracting using the standard form or standard algorithm. We're going to be doing up to three digits with regrouping. So let's unbundle what our objective is today. Our objective today, today I will be able to subtract three digit numbers with regrouping by using the standard algorithm. But before we get into that, we want to kind of review what we talked about in our previous lessons with subtracting, which is subtracting with the expanded form. We love the standard algorithm because it's quicker, but what we don't want is that you just memorize the steps and you don't really conceptually understand what's happening. So to kind of show this, we're going to do the expanded form version of this problem and then show you with the standard algorithm so you can see how they are alike and what's really happening when you do the standard algorithm. So if I do this with the expanded form, I'm doing 200 plus 30 plus 4, right? I want to first step, line up my place values and write them in expanded form. So I have my ones place lined up now. I have my tens and my hundreds and I am subtracting, okay? I'm going to go from right to left starting with my ones place. 4 minus 3, more on the top, no need to stop. So 4 minus 3 is 1. 30 minus 60, more on the floor, go next door and get 10 more. Again, we're talking about 10 tens because this is the tens place. So I'm going to give 100 and kind of give it away, or some people like to say borrow, but really it's stealing, I think, because you never give it back to my tens place. So I had 30, I got 10 tens more, which is 100. When I add those together, I now have 130 in my tens place. So 130 minus 60 is 70. And then now I have a 100, 100 minus 100 is zero. So I really don't even need this plus sign um, because when you write an expanded form, you wouldn't do that. But we'll just put the zero there so we kind of show what we're doing. And so the difference between 234 and 163 is going to be 71. Now we want to solve this using our standard algorithm or some people call it the standard form of subtraction. And so what we're going to do is we're going to, we're going to still line up our place values, right? Except we don't have to write it in expanded form. So I'm going to write nice and big. I'm going to make sure that my ones place are lined up, my tens place are lined up, and my hundreds place are lined up. All right. When we do this, we are still following the same steps. We're still starting with our ones place and we're still going right to left. We're still asking ourselves more on the top or more on the floor. Okay. So four minus three, more on the top. No need to stop. Four minus three is one. Three tens minus six tens, right? The difference is we are just leaving the digit in the tens place. So 30 minus 60 right here, more on the floor, go next door and get 10 more. So I'm getting 10 tens, which is going to make this a 13 in standard algorithm, but really it's 13 tens, which is 130. Okay, so we're not showing the value of it, but it is 13 tens, which is going to be 7. And then 1 minus 1 would be 0. So our answer would be 71. Again, the benefit of the standard algorithm is it's a lot faster, but you have to be neat and we don't want you just memorizing steps. We want you to understand that really this is four ones minus three ones. This is 13 tens minus 60, right? Or six tens. And this is 100 minus 100. If you're going to do the standard algorithm, you have to understand what you're doing. Don't just use it as a shortcut. So before we get to our steps for regrouping, if you don't know the steps for using the standard algorithm, go ahead and start with our standard algorithm, no regrouping video. But our steps are we put the bigger number on top, right? We line up our place values, our ones place, our tens place, our hundreds, or if you're doing thousands or ten thousands are lined up, and you start with the ones place and go right to left. As you do that, you're asking yourself the same question that's in our awesome song. More on the top? If so, no need to stop. More on the floor? Go next door and get 10 more. So these are the questions we're going to ask ourselves as we're taking it one place value at a time. So as always, when you're subtracting or adding or multiplying or dividing, you always want to have an estimate over here so you can see if your answer is reasonable. I'm going to round this up to 800 minus 100. And so I think my answer should be about 700. Let's follow our steps. We're going to line up. We're going to put our bigger number on top. We're going to line up our uh, place value starting with our ones place. If it helps you to put a zero here just to stay neat and organized, please go ahead and do that. And then we're going to start with our ones place and we're going to take it one place value at a time. Three minus six. More on the floor. Go next door and get ten more. So that six becomes a five. I'm getting ten more here, which becomes a thirteen. 
the big thing a lot of people do is they cross out the three and just make this a 10 because they're thinking go get 10. But that's why the words say 10 more. You're taking what you have, right? And you're adding 10 ones to that. So three ones plus 10 ones would be 13. Now 13 minus six is seven. Now I made sure I crossed out my six because I regrouped from it. Now it's actually a five. Five minus eight, more on the floor, go next door and get 10 more. So now I had five groups of 10 and I'm adding 10 groups, which makes this a 15. But remember, conceptually, this is not a 15. This is 15 tens, right? We want to make sure that you know this is really 150 because it's in the tens place. Now, 150 minus 80 would give us 70, or 15 minus 8 would give us a 7 in the tens place, right? We want to make sure that you understand what you're doing. Now, 6 minus 0, more in the top, no need to stop, so 6 minus 0 is 6. So my the difference for this subtraction equation is 677. 763 minus 86 is 677, which is pretty reasonable because it was close to my estimate. Bam, 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 blam! Here's our U-Try problem, what we want to do. And if you've been doing our lessons with you, you know this is the exact same question that is in our expanded form video. So you probably already know the answer, but we want to make sure we're practicing our standard algorithm. So go ahead and pause it, try the problem. When you're done, push play to check how you did. Hopefully you just paused it and now we're checking it. So my standard algorithm steps, I'm going to line up I'm going to put the bigger number on top, sorry, and I'm going to line up my place values, making sure my ones, my tens, and my hundreds are lined up. I'm going to start subtracting with my ones place and then go right to left. Two minus eight. Eight is bigger than two, right? So more on the floor, go next door and get ten more. So I'm getting ten ones, which is going to make this a twelve. Twelve minus eight is four. If you're not sure about your subtraction facts, you could actually count up from eight, eight, 9, 10, 11, 12, and you could do 8 plus 4 equals 12. So if you need to think about this as addition to get your um, addition and subtraction facts, go ahead and do that. Now, six. Now this is a 6, which is really obviously a 60 because it's in the tens place. Uh, 6 minus 9, 9 is bigger than 6, or 90 is bigger than 60. So more on the floor, go next door, get 10 more. So if I get 10 tens, that's going to be... 16 here, right, which is really 160 because it's 16 tens because it's in the tens place. 16 minus 9 is going to be 7, or 9 plus 7 would be 16, whichever way you want to think about it. 8 minus 2, more on the top, no need to stop. So 800 minus 200 would give me 600, which is why my 6 is in the hundreds place. And we, go, we are going to add those together. And the difference between 972 and 298 is 600. 74. And I forgot to give my estimate, but my estimate would have been about 700. So I know my answer is reasonable, which is always good to check. Bam, 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 blam! Hopefully, you will now feel a little bit more confident in your standard algorithm, but if not, it just takes practice. You got to continue to practice and have someone check your work, uh, making sure you do it right. Don't give up on it if you're not there yet. It's okay to fail as long as you learn from it. You've got to keep getting better every single day. Please remember when you're doing this, you've got to line your place values up. You've got to be neat. The hardest part about math is being neat. That's what we always say here at Instructor Beats and making sure that you're taking it one place value at a time going from right to left. Thank you so much for checking us out today. We know there's lots of different options online. Check out our uh, subtraction song. We think you'll like it. We would love for you to subscribe, like the video, leave a comment. Let us know where you're watching from. We appreciate you. Again, thank you so much. Instructor Beats, out.